Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. This session is a continuation of the previous sessions where we are going to use request picture to solve the problem that is still unresolved in the previous session. In the previous session, to resolve a problem, we have used use fixtures decorator, but that has not solved the problem completely. In addition to this use fixtures, we have to use request fixture that I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session, which is going to solve the problem entirely. So let's get started with the practical demonstration in this session of using request picture to solve the problem. So here is the PyCharm ID where we have used use fixtures in the previous session, right? I, I, I made this uh, test methods part of these classes and above the class we have used use fixtures. And in this, we specified the name of the picture that is uh, made common in the conftest.pypy for this individual Python files. But still the problem is not solved. This driver is not still passed to this test methods inside this class, right? Even after using use fixtures. So how to solve this problem? For that, we have to use this request fixture. Before I start using the request fixture here, uh, first of all, let's solve other problem. You see here in the circular brackets, we are getting an error. The reason here is because of Python. In Python, when you create some test methods inside a class, the first parameter should and must be specified as self. Otherwise, you will get error. Okay. So here also give self. Here also give self. You see the problem is getting resolved, right? So here the problem is resolved. So too many blank lines. Uh, let me reduce the number of lines here. Here also number of lines and let's reduce. The problem is solved here. This particular error is gone. Here, let's go to the test login and here also let's write self. So self should be the first parameter for the test methods inside a class in Python. So this is related to Python. So we are solving the problem like this. Here also let's write self, self. This one problem I have resolved now. And uh, the next problem that we have to resolve now is how to pass this driver. You see, you are getting error here because the driver from this uh, picture is not being passed to this uh, test methods inside this class. So how to solve that? For that, we have to use which fixture? Request fixture, okay? So in this setup and tear down fixture method, here you provide request, okay? Request fixture you provide here and you can remove this global driver that is not required anymore. And uh, once you launch this browser and all, now you need to pass this driver to this individual test methods inside the individual Python files. So for that, I have to use this request fixture. I have to say request dot CLS dot request dot CLS dot driver is equal to driver I have to specify. So what I am doing here by using this request picture, I am making this driver, this particular uh, driver that I created in the picture part of the classes. Okay, part of the classes that are using use fixtures here. So here I am passing request dot CLS dot driver I am saying and here I am passing the driver. Now this driver is part of the classes that are using these fixtures. Now, still the error is not gone. Why? Because you have to use self keyword here. Okay. Self dot driver you have to say. Then here also self dot driver. Errors are being gone. You can see that I'm able to access the driver from this uh, common fixture in the confidence.py file with the help of this self after passing the driver with the help of this request fixture. Okay. This is the process. Simple. So everywhere, wherever you're getting the error with the driver, just attach self keyword. So let me copy paste to save some time. Self dot, self dot, self dot. Wherever you see error, you just pass self dot, self dot, self dot. Now all the errors in the one of the test, uh, one of the Python file has been done, has been cleared. Now let's go here and here also. Self dot driver, self dot driver, self dot driver. Everywhere just put self keyword. The errors will be gone. Now the driver also is being passed from this uh, common. Uh, picture into this uh, test methods, right? Of this particular class, because this driver is now belonging to the class, as I mentioned here, request, using the request picture, I made this driver part of the class. So that's the reason from this picture, the driver is coming and we are using it here as part of the class. So this is a conduct, okay? So let's come here and uh, here also everywhere, wherever you see the error, just put that self dot uh, driver thing, self keyword. Almost done. Here also, let's put self. 
you see all the errors are being gone off and the driver is getting passed from the fixture common fixture into this individual test methods of this individual python files here also we have to put self otherwise it's not going to work and uh, reduce the number of lines because inside the class only one line is enough outside the class method should have at least two lines in between okay here uh what else is there i just put expected it is not required that's not right um so any other errors uh, here the errors are gone here the errors are gone here also mostly the errors are gone only left out with one one error let me solve that so how to solve this error i'm calling a method which is part of the class right so when you're calling a method which is part of the class with the help of self keyword you have to call okay when these methods are inside the class you have to call that uh, method from the class within the class with the help of self keyword okay wherever you see that error just write self dot okay the errors will be gone this is also done okay python stuff is done and uh, you see pytest stuff is done where how to pass the driver from this common fixture into this individual test methods in this python files is also done now let's run this and see whether this is working fine or not okay after uh, moving this particular into a common fixture thing whether this uh, test methods inside this uh, individual python files are working or not total there are how many tests in this search there are three tests in this login there are two tests in this register there are two tests there is 3 plus 2 plus 2 8 uh, sorry uh, 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 tests are there let's run all these seven tests together so for that uh, i'll go to this terminal i'll run that uh, i'll simply say pytest and run it that's it i don't have to give any other stuff here just simply say pytest and all the tests inside this test methods inside this any of this python files of this package will run without any problem okay pytest will figure it out so module pytest has no attribute use fixtures okay there is a problem one more problem here that is uh, here i have to mention python scope is equal to class okay I have to mention scope is equal to class let's try this again mm, pytest run it still the error is coming module pytest has no attribute use fixtures uh then how okay sorry where i am using okay this is not the thing sorry sorry this is not the thing i have to go to conf test and here i have to mention that i mentioned it at a long location scope is equal to plus now let's see here let's uh pytest let's try this out okay module pytest has no attribute use fixtures okay so set up int here down we have mentioned that right uh, module pytest has one minute let me check this problem so here i made one mistake that is i forgot to put mark here okay So I have to say pytest dot mark dot use fixtures, not normal use fixtures. I have to provide mark dot use fixtures, which I forgot. So here also let's change everywhere where I have to use use fixtures. I have to say pyt at the rate pytest dot mark dot use fixtures. So here also pytest dot mark dot use fixtures. That was a mistake. Now let's run this. Simply say pytest here and run. Let's see whether uh, seven out of seven tests are running or not. You see it is working fine. Okay, small mistake was there. So I directly mentioned at the rate pytest dot fixtures use fixtures instead of that I have to say mark dot use fixtures. Okay, I forgot to provide mark. Hey, okay. looks like there is one a few more mistakes. Ah, uh, we have to resolve them. Let's see. Some things are still failing. Two failed. Five passed. Why they got failed? Unable to. Okay, maybe this is a uh, this coming from login without entering credentials. Uh, login without entering credentials. Okay, why it got failed? Okay, so where it got failed? Let's find it out. We are getting some no such element exception. and uh, test login without entering credentials test create account by providing all fields okay in some other uh, okay without entering credentials it is failing no such element no no such element. unable to locate the element which element link text selector login is uh, this should work fine 
Hey, why it's not working? Let's open the application and see what's going wrong here. Let's open the application. Tutorials in the outcome slash demo. It should work fine. When I click on this my account, I should get this register and uh, login options, but they are not coming. It seems uh, register login. Everything is fine. So let me run it again and see I'm unable to locate the element it's saying. After clicking on uh, my account, driver dot find element by dot export, everything is fine. And simply say pi test again. This test is running. Login. Okay. Looks like uh, after that, immediately some other problem is happening. Okay, I got it. What's the problem? I got it. I'll solve that. Okay. Okay. This is failing because of this scope mentioned scope. That is, I have provided scope is equal to class. So this uh, setup and tear down is only running one time for a class. Okay, for every class before this test methods, for both test methods, only one time setup code is running, and tear down is also running only for one, uh, only after the after the class. So that's not a thing. Here scope should be still function only. By default, it's function. So I have removed the from uh, scope is equal to class from this picture. Let's see whether it works. By test, run it. Yeah, it's working fine, it seems, this time. After removing that scope is equal to class. Because when I say scope is equal to class, it's only working one time for a class. Okay, setup code is running only one time for a class. So here setup need to run every time for every test method. Before every test method, setup code need to run. Okay. Now it's working fine. All issues got resolved. Done, almost done. I think last test, I guess. Maybe last test. The new test, yeah, few more tests are there. Total seven tests should run one by one. Is there any more tests? In search, there are three tests. Maybe last test in search is running now. In this, it may become seven. Let's see. Total seven tests should run and everything should get passed. Is it done? Yes, it's done. Seven tests, seven out of seven tests got run. So this is how uh, we can, you know, use a request fixture to solve the problems. Okay. In this session, I not only use uh, the request fixture to solve the problem, but many other problems I have solved. So hope that uh, you'd be able to utilize all these uh, solutions I have given you in this particular session. So with this, we are at a good place. Okay. We were able to use all this stuff. Okay. This is a series of stuff like integrating Selenium code with PyTest, running multiple Selenium type tests with PyTest. And after that, uh, we have created the PyTest fixture in the, okay, uh, to remove the duplicate steps in Selenium test. Then we have created multiple Python files having multiple test methods. And then we removed this uh, duplicate fixture and moved that into a common place that is compress.py file. But here the problem started with the driver is not getting passed for that we have used use fixtures okay to use this common fixture uh, we have created a class and uh, specified the use fixtures uh, then that has not completely solved the problem we got few more problems that have resolved finally in the last session of these things that is use request fixture okay with that everything got solved and we were able to run the test across multiple python files which are using the common fixture which is created inside the context.py file so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.